Trump's agreement to talk with the Iranian president came a day after Macron met with Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif on the sidelines of the G7 summit. The French president is keen on salvaging the 2015 nuclear deal with Iran that Trump abandoned last year. Trump insisted the deal was bad for all the parties except Iran. They're allowed to test ballistic missiles. You're not allowed to go to various sites to check. And some of those sites are the most obvious sites for the creation or the making of nuclear weapons. And those things have to be changed, and other things have to be changed. Those other things include Iran's interference in regional conflicts, its support for terrorist groups such as Lebanon-based Hezbollah, and recent aggression in the Strait of Hormuz. The United States imposed tough sanctions on Iran to get it to renegotiate the deal. Tehran has rejected the notion, but Trump said Monday this may have changed. Their inflation is through the roof. Their economy is tanked entirely. The sanctions are absolutely hurting them horribly. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. They're great people. I don't want to see that. But we can't let them have a nuclear weapon. Can't let it happen. So I think that there's a really good chance that we would meet. Macron said France's talks with Iran have established conditions for a meeting between Trump and Rouhani in the next few weeks to see if they can reach an agreement. I am still very cautious, but I think this puts a stop to the escalation and will allow us to reach the objectives we are pursuing. Rouhani said he is ready to meet with any leader if it will help his nation. Even if the odds of success are not 90 percent but are 20 or 10 percent, we must move ahead with it. We should not miss opportunities. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson welcomed the development. We discussed Iran and we are all agreed that Iran should never under any circumstances be allowed to get a nuclear weapon. And there's clearly an opportunity now for Iran to come back into compliance with the nuclear deal, the JCPOA, and to resume dialogue as well as to cease its disruptive behavior in the, the region. German Chancellor Angela Merkel stressed the importance of the will to talk. Germany is a signatory to the nuclear deal with Iran, along with Britain, France, China and Russia. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.